David Blevins, and along with Nancy Hamilton and Tamara Oliver here, uh, we'd like to welcome everybody to today's events. I did want to pass along some regrets. President Whaley uh, wanted to be here today. This is uh, one of his uh, uh, most joyful things. He loves the leadership side, but unfortunately he had a prior obligation that he had to attend, so he wanted to send along his congratulations to everybody as well. So uh, before we get started uh, with the formal portion of this, uh, I'm going to take a little privilege. It was not on my little sticky notes of things that Nancy put together, but uh, she gave me the floor and I'm going to absolutely take this privilege. So this program actually started out of a brainchild uh, from Nancy. Rome State had a leadership institute in years past, but that kind of went away. And so she got the idea <coughs> uh, two years ago to uh, re-implement this process. And she went through the President's Imagination Mini Grant, uh, proposed everything, put an entire curriculum together, and, uh, and accepted the first class uh, under the Rome State Leadership Institute. So I want you all to help me show appreciation to Nancy Hamilton. For making this. In addition, she works tirelessly behind the scenes to keep us all on track. Everybody is busy. Uh, but uh, she, she makes sure that this is a, a great experience. And then also going to take the next privilege uh, to, to point out somebody. So that president's uh, mini grant was for a one year award. Um, and the idea was to push that inaugural group, which I, I had the privilege of, of being part of, said, hey, this would be great to continue. We knew those funds through the uh, president's grant were going to continue. So we worked together and put together a presentation and Nancy presented that to Vice President Matthews and the budget team and worked with her over that period of time to make sure this was continuously funded so we could make this a realism which allowed each of you all to come. So help me uh, show some appreciation to Vice President Matthews. A lot of work goes behind to make sure everything rolls in line with uh, making sure the college is successful at what we do and uh, she wanted to make sure to uh, put a priority on the leadership side the more we can give to each one of you, uh, the more our students are taken care of in the uh, in the end. So, we this year went on a calendar year basis. Uh, we got funded in uh, the October session, found some funding for that. Got a group. We're able to bring 20 uh, of you all into this program uh, to go from January to now. During that point in time, we had a tremendous amount of speaker sessions. Um, the uh, three book reviews uh, that, that we did, and including one that I will, I can't go through a presentation. These individuals know it. Uh, Tammy's already smiling. Uh, like 1938, Dale Carnegie put together a book, <coughs> How to Win Friends and Influence People. It's the basic tenets of leadership, right? Like how to get uh, to get what you want. So these individuals have gone through uh, the the review. They had speakers. They also went through a self assessment. And when they get their certificates, you'll actually be able to take a look. The Street Finders through Gallup at the bottom, we have the five uh, sources where we find our joy, basically. Uh, so they, they did that. In addition, uh, several of our people, uh, thanks to Senator Yeager, who's going to come up in a minute. We were a guest of his. We're able to come up to the Capitol in March. Um, we got to uh, sit in with Representative Fritz. And then we went up to Senator Yeager's office. Trent in his office is phenomenal in getting us coordinated. Uh, but we were able to uh, come up, recognized in the gallery, got to watch uh, some of what they do, the leadership from the state side. So we're going to welcome Senator Yeager in just a minute, but wanted to thank for that. Uh, but that was a great experience. Um, I got the unexpected privilege because we couldn't get our tour set up of being a de facto tour guide. And discussing, uh, <laughs> discussing some of that because of the amount of time I'm up there. So if you ever go up, you go outside of the governor's office, you look up, you'll see the the uh, uh, Lady Justice up there, and it's actually interesting. Most of you all uh, have seen Lady Justice with the blindfold on. It was before, you know, it's actually Lady Justice without. I was like wanting to see all of how everything is built and, and put together. And then you go into the library and see the dogs up the spiral staircase. Uh, there's a lot of history in that building, including the two individuals that are buried within the structure. Uh, and if you don't know uh, the, the story behind that, they didn't like each other, so they're on the furthest portion of, of the building, but both of them had that. See, Senator Yeager said, <laughs> smiling there. That's always a great story. David, that's going to be your retirement job. You've given us a present. <coughs> so, hey, hey, I'll be the de facto Rose State uh, tour guide to the Capitol. Uh, we'll make that happen. Now, 
As I mentioned, we had a, a, a number of sessions. I got to lead one of the speaker sessions, uh, but uh, y'all don't necessarily want to hear from me. We welcomed or kicked off this session with uh, uh, President Whaley, and also uh, we had Wade Cresswell uh, speaking. Each of ours had a topic area, and so uh, we, we thank uh, Wade for uh, coming, and then also Ron Gregory, uh, an opportunity. Gentlemen, do you have any follow-on that you would like to pa pass along to these? There's no prep. <laughs> whatsoever but if you wanted to pass along anything nice. thank you for the invitation to celebrate the graduation great program uh always thankful we'll be a part of it yeah I, I feel the same way congratulations to all of you right it's always nice to be a speaker at this stuff and try to show how to help you learn something or we're always growing in our careers right in our lives even being retired you're always trying to learn something and i learn from you as much as you learn from me so Thank you and congratulations on the graduate class. It's, it's wonderful. All right, so all of our participants, if we can give some of our speakers here a round of applause. For them. <laughs> all right, I wanted to bring up next, so a lot of this stuff, including today, is done by assistance of our foundation. Uh, they have put together uh, this uh, graduation luncheon for us. And so we want to welcome up Pam, and she's going to bring her guest as well, which is a long history of leadership here at Roan State. So Pam and the Foundation, thank you. Thank you, David. Thank you, Nancy. Mm -hmm. It was a very, very good class. I think we all uh, took something from it, and we appreciate all your work on it. Uh, forgive me, I brought notes. I did not want to leave out anything about this. So I have the privilege of introducing a lady today that I consider to be one of Roan State's treasures. And for me personally, she is a mentor and a friend. Joy and her late husband, Dr. Paul Goldberg, served Rome State in many capacities for many years. She retired as an assistant vice, assistant vice president of enrollment management, <coughs> but has continued to serve as a major financial contributor and as a volunteer. She also serves on the Rome State Foundation Board where she serves in several capacities, including scholarship committee chair. She recently was honored with a very special award. She received the Chancellor's Award for Excellence in Philanthropy. Joy is also an active community member, which includes performing as a member of the Rome Floral <coughs> Society. And I believe that she's a pretty good tennis player <laughs> as well. Rome State is blessed to have her, and it's my pleasure to introduce Ms. Joy Goldberg as she comes to share more about the legacy that she and Dr. Goldberg have contributed to Rome State, including this leadership program. So, welcome, Dr. That seemed too far away. I'm going to come up close to friends, for sure. Uh, well, thank you for inviting me, and um, congratulations, for sure, on completing this program. Um, I've been asked to talk, as it says on your program, the legacy of leadership of my late husband, Paul. But I first think about um, the Rome State's 50th anniversary that occurred a few years ago. And uh, that means that it was also my 50th plus anniversary. <laughs> because I was just a mere child when Paul and I first came to the state. Now I know many of you haven't met Paul, um, but I do recognize several faces in the audience, and that means you've been around quite a long time too. <laughs> so just a quick look at how the Institute got started. Um, it really goes back to leadership for Rome County. And back in 1983, then County Executive Ken Yeager uh, created a Roan Technology Task Force to make recommendations for progressive change in the county. And it was decided to create a leadership program, and the college took the lead on how to organize that. By 1984, Paul was chosen to develop Leadership Roan County along with two others. And by, in 1985, the actual, similar to what you have, so participants were selected, they went through monthly learning sessions, and graduated. In 1985 was the first group. And by 1987, oh, and it continues today, Leadership Rome County. But by 1987, we added Leadership Rome County Alumni Association, 
and also New Horizons Youth Leadership. Uh, both of those were developed and still continue today. Trying to give a full perspective of where leadership, it does not stop. We want to start it with the youth and take it all the way through your training sessions, all the way into lifelong learning, for sure. Some of the outstanding projects that uh, Leadership Rowan County completed were things like Hooray for Harriman, which is your Labor Day festivities, Character Counts, which was a program that was set up within the school system, Consolidation of Schools. <laughs> now I believe you're still talking about that. <laughs> we were talking about it in 87, and I was on the planning committee for that to study the idea in 87, and uh, a gentleman stood up and said, it'll never happen. We were talking about this 20 years ago, so it's still on the docket. <laughs> Uh, liquor by the Drink came out of that Leadership Rome County study, Teacher's Supply Closet, and even the new Industrial Park. But all through those years of Leadership Rome County, Paul wanted to develop this same concept here at Rome State. So as he talked to various departments, he kept hearing the same concerns over and over. And he thought, well, we need to have some kind of institute or learning program for employees across the board to talk to each other and see how things are similar and what can we do to work things together. Um, from encouraging educational opportunities to how to move up in, within the organization. He was a champion of all college employees at every level and his ability to listen assess the situation, and guide decisions were really his true strengths. I know you must have had an interesting year and have learned much more about Rome State than you even thought possible, but I also hope you've discovered in yourself some new leadership traits that you can take back to your jobs. If you have, then you are continuing Paul's legacy by making Rome State the best. Now I'm going to bring up something that Joy probably doesn't remember. I got the opportunity to take this job July 18th of 2011, which was a Monday. That Friday before, I got the privilege of sitting in at, uh, the President's uh, Conference Room with Joy, Brenda, Maria Gonzalez, then Vice President Chris Whaley, uh, uh, Dean Mike Lehman, Marty Young, and talking about the EMS programs, and, and we're still talking about the same conversation. Yeah. We're kind of talking about the whole 20 years, like there's still the same things we're talking about, financial aid and all the fun mm -hmm. stuff. So yep. <laughs> <laughs> thank you to her. Now, <clears throat> a great supporter of Rome State. In fact, I don't know that we have any bigger cheerleader for uh, the Rome State, uh, uh, for Rome State Community College, uh, but a tremendous support, like I said, for bringing us up to the Capitol to discuss what, uh, what happens uh, there between January and May and in between uh, but he comes up uh, helping with uh, the creation of funding for our Knox campus our Fincher's campus expansions and, like there, there's so much that this individual touches uh, there's no uh, greater leader in our area we're gonna bring up Senator Ken Yeager <laughs> You know, I do what, the, what day asked. Well, thank you for having me. I, I'm glad to be here. Uh, I enjoyed it, uh, coming to this group uh, uh, it, and to see folks I, I know and get to revisit and uh, enjoy and make friends with some folks I haven't met before. But, uh, but we're all connected whether we know each other or not. We are connected by that thread called Rome State Community College. And I want to talk a little bit about that today. I'll probably, I'm not sure what I'm going to get into. I'm, this is entirely extemporaneous. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
but I'll, I'll, we'll come back to that in a minute. I'm, it's my, uh, <coughs> I've been charged with the uh, responsibility to, to charge, to charge, the, charge the group as we graduate and we leave, to charge you to take what you've learned and apply it, in, in, not here at the college, but throughout the community. And I don't know of a better place than Rome State Community College. You know, he's, as he kindly introduced me, I have tried to help the college occasionally. Uh, and because Rome State is a life-changing institution. Let me say that again. It is a life-changing institution. And what better way for me to reach out to thousands of people as a senator than to help Rome State Community College in every way that I can. Because this is a perfect vehicle to reach people and to help be a part of changing those lives for the better. You have a role in that process of helping change lives as leaders on our campus. In every way, every day, I'm glad that you have this program and that you get to meet with the other, uh, your counterparts at the other campuses. You know, I think we have 10 campuses now. Uh, I think that's a very good program that we work together as a unit. Uh, but I hope that you will, you will take what you have learned here and try to apply it to everyday situations. Don't let what you have learned here through your experiences in your classes be like a book that you're going to set on the shelf and let it gather dust. Don't do that. Take what you've learned and apply it. That's what leaders do. Last year I spoke about William Bryan, Jennings Bryan. You'd have to be a history major to know who I was talking about. He was a Democrat ran for president three times and lost. He was the Secretary of State under Wilson, but resigned out of principle on a, a, when we went into World War I. Uh, and he, he, was, he was advocating all kinds of <clears throat> programs then that were very controversial. People thought were crazy things like minimum wage, 40 hour work week, you know, vacation for people, health or insurance. They thought it was crazy. But many of the things that he advocated are now part of our fabric. He was a leader. He was a difference maker. And I said all that to get to this. As you use what you've learned, be a difference maker. If you, if you do, you will be a difference maker. A difference maker in the lives of perhaps one of your colleagues here. A, a difference maker in the life of a student. A, a difference maker in the life of this community because this college has a great reach out into the community. Uh, so I want to encourage you, to challenge you, to be a difference maker. Take what you've learned. Now, I, I, uh, I've, I've had a, a, the privilege to be in positions of leadership now for longer than I care to count. Uh, uh, let's see, County, I was, a, well, I, was, I was a classroom teacher, school teacher, started out as that. Uh, and believe you me, if you could teach seventh grade, you could do anything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I taught that, and, and I tell people to this day, those five years I taught were five of the happiest years of my life. I still stay in touch with my students. I was a county attorney for a, and well, I was in a private practice for a while. Uh, and then county executive for a few years, and then I'm in, I came on into the Senate now. So I've had an opportunity to see leaders and work with leaders. Uh, and leaders, it's important to get, it's important to get the facts as you make your decisions. It's important to learn to listen to everybody. As Howard Baker said, listen to people that you don't agree with because they might be right. Mm -hmm. It's important to learn to listen. There's an art to listening. Learn to listen. Get the facts. And then follow your judgments, your best instincts. 
and do what you think is the right thing to do, and you'll become a difference maker. Some individual or the, this institution will be different because of what you may do. I have every reason to believe that you'll do that because I know some of you don't know everybody in this room, but I know enough of you in this room to know you have the capacity to do this. And isn't that what it's all about? To try to help other people and leave, leave uh, Rome State better than you found it? Leave the people here that study here, work here better than they found it? You can do that with what you've learned here through these classes. You can do that. And I'm here in any way I can to support you. You know, I, I'm, I can't be a good cheerleader occasionally. <laughs> so that's essentially what I wanted to tell you. Don't leave what you've learned here on the bookshelf. You use it in your daily walk. Be a difference maker. A difference maker. Thank you. So one of the things that we wanted to do with this program is open up. We uh, were able to visit multiple campuses, allow the Zoom for those that weren't able to make it there, to to know what goes on. You know, having uh, the, the fact that I'm in Knoxville, I spend the majority of my time there, you lose what some of these other individuals do. And one of the things about leaders, you don't have to have a title, director, librarian, vice president, you don't have to have a title to lead. Each one of us are leaders of our students. You're going to have somebody that comes up to you, and some of this is going to be the key to making sure that student is successful there. Like Sharon being able to take something to somebody that she didn't, may not have known existed before now, but she's like, hey, unique thing, so we want to tie that. So one thing that ties a cohort together is that you all have labored over the last 11 months, almost 12 months through this program allow that to blossom uh, those relationships and continue to grow so that we're helping each one of the students now we have celebrated all of our individuals here our, from our leadership our speakers and uh, from the college and, and out but now it's actually about the most important part so now we get to celebrate each and every one of you for your hard work and your dedication over the last year to the growth of leadership so start calling names <coughs> Yeah, and I just wanted to yeah, go ahead. wanted to say something. Um, the thing I was going to touch on, which it connects to what Senator Yeager was saying, is um, as we continue to go through things and learn from what or act from what we learn, sometimes those things aren't second, you know, aren't second hand to us. So I tell myself all the time, going to our our five strengths here we had five weaknesses too right so don't apologize for the weaknesses just grow on them and try them um, one thing i find myself apologizing for all the time is something i can't help and that's being northern <laughs> uh, you know sometimes i come across more blunt and direct and that's the nature of how i grew up um, so Remembering that we're still going to do those things, but just try to remember and catch yourself and keep continuing to try to grow. I'll start calling names. Please come up and get your certificate of completion, and then we will uh, do a round of applause at the end, if that's okay. Okay. So first, first on our agenda, Mr. Todd Appleton. It's hard enough to let's clap. <laughs> strategic, empathy, responsibility, futuristic. Michael Birch. Michael is context, woo, belief, communication, and achiever. Justin Eastwood. Context, 
responsibility, woo, and learner. Gullery, Garcia. <laughs> Maximizer, Self-Assurance, and Analytical. I imagine that. Our next Tammy Howard. Tammy is Belief, Positivity, Achiever, Responsibility, and Communication. Dr. April Insko. Achiever, consistency, responsibility, and significance. Melody Keys, she left, so we can give her a round of applause. <laughs> Dwayne McGee, Kimberly County Director. Dwayne is context, developer, positivity, learner, and strategic. Thank you, Dwayne. Jeremy Pulsifer. Jeremy is developer, empathy, positivity, learner, and woo. Everybody wants to know what woo is, right? Yeah. We'll tell you about that just in a minute. Okay. Yeah, Jessica Rivera is, Rivera is not here, so let's clap for her. <laughs> Tammy Robinette. Responsibility, developer, and harmony. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so our next Pam Rusinski. Pam is learner, strategic, arranger, connectedness, and achiever. Marianne Sexton, faculty member at Carolyn County, cannot be here today, but let's give her a <laughs> Melanie Starling, financial aid, cannot be here today, so let's give her a round of applause. <laughs> Jennifer Stowe, professor of psychology. Jennifer is belief, learner, achiever, deliberative, and relator. Dr. Matt Waters. Matt is Relator, Developer, Strategic, Maximizer, and Achiever. Sharon Wilson, Campus Director. Sharon is Positivity, Belief, Developer, Futuristic, and Responsibility. Yeah, and Miss Vicki Winston. Vicki's a ranger, futuristic, individualization, adaptability, and ideation. Let's give all of our graduates a big round of applause. As we've heard today at our time during our time together, we have learned a lot. We hope on behalf of Tamara and David and I, that you are a better person, you're a better employee, you're a better leader, a better servant leader because of your experience in this course. Uh, we have been very deliberate about trying to help provide value to you so that you in turn can provide value to others you serve. Uh, we have learned in every lesson, whether it's talking about connection, communicating, branding, it really is about relationships. And one thing that we know that when the tide rises, what happens? All boats lift. And so we want to make sure that we continue to do this program in a way that honors our college, our mission, our vision, to try to equip you and all of us around to be better at what we do. I know I'm better because of you, David and Tamara. I'm better because of them. And we're better. We've, we've taught you a lot, we hope, by our speakers, our readings, those kind of things, our experiences. But you've also in turn taught us. And so uh, we just want to say thank you for the time you've given this program. It is my passion to make sure that we make this college in the places where we serve 
an opportunity to give our very best selves, the best version of ourselves, to the people that we're called to serve because it really makes a difference. Dr. Goldberg's legacy is proven of it. So thank you for being here today. Thank you for being here, being a part of this experience, and I hope that you'll give us some constructive feedback to help us be better next year. We're hoping to, to do this next year, and so we may be calling on some of you to be a part of our class again. So um, thank you for your time, your investment, your friendship. It really does matter. Thanks for being here today. So I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do something that a mentor of mine has taught me. If you have a question, go research it and come it back to, to us. So, so Strength Finders 2.0 by David Rath, uh, Tom Rath, it was a book that was developed by the Gallup Group. And so one of the things that's happening now in higher education is a lot of colleges and universities, University of Tennessee included, they are giving their students a strengths-based assessment. It has to do with personality, but it's way much more than personality. What are your strengths? Because a lot of times, I believe as Tamara said, we want to focus on our areas of strength, <clears throat> or our weaknesses that are strength. Wu is one of the 34 characteristics of that assessment that gives you the ump to get going. So Todd, <laughs> oh, Justin, Jeremy, Jeremy. Jeremy. Jeremy sorry. Has, you have, many of you have that. So I would encourage you, if you're interested, you can take that assessment online. Um, University of Tennessee freshmen, every student going to that university takes that assessment and they build their um, competencies for their career based on that strengths-based assessment. <coughs> so we thought, what a perfect opportunity to practice this here. So um, our hope is that you would use each of those strengths in your ability to make a difference wherever you are so that ultimately we can bring better good to the common folks around. Does that help? Yes. Yeah. Thanks. So it's a great it's a great assessment, and so uh, uh, we all took it. That's the first book we went through, and so when you look at your five strengths, um, our hope is that you will figure out how you can best use those strengths to the betterment of those you serve around you. So yeah. So that's what that is. Great. Yeah. So thank you for being here. Have a great afternoon. Take more food with you, and we'll see you soon. Yeah. If, if we could, those those that are participants, or, and, and and I will extend this because uh, I know Senator Yeager will not miss the opportunity for this. I like to. I, I just have my phone camera, but if we go right outside here, we'll get a group photo. Oh, that'd be great. With the <laughs> okay, pretty windy, so let, let's just go out here. No, 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 you go on out there. No, we're good. We're good. We can do it here. That's great. Thank you. We can. So we'll, yeah, do it right out, we'll do it right out here by the screen. Thank you.